What in the world is this? I mean, we have to try it, right? What is up, everybody? CG6 here, 3 coming at you with another YouTube video. I don't know what I just stumbled upon. <laughs> we often just bounce around to random stores, uh, see what we can find, uh, especially on the mystery box front, and we have run into a four-pack power box from Walgreens. Uh, I gotta say, typically they advertise some fun packs. They are only advertising uh, Evolving Skies, Chilling Rain, Vivid Voltage, Fusion Strike, Battle Styles, Darkness Ablaze. Um, I am terrified of this product, but you know what? We're going to see what's inside for you guys and for science, of course. The Hump of Pokemon is on. We got it. Let's get it. Let's see what's inside. All right, let's get into it. Four pack power box, as we mentioned there. Uh, not overly impressed with the advertising. I mean, Evolving Skies, Fusion Strike, Battle Styles, Darkness of Blaze, uh, Chilling Rain, Vivid. Uh, just um, typically they kind of they kind of clickbait you, so to speak, with maybe pulling something decent, but they're telling you up front it's all gonna be crap. It's all gonna be crap. So we're gonna be using this uh, little uh, awesome Washington DC 2019 Pikachu pin. We got this from one of those uh, oft mentioned Ultimate Collection eight boxes. Um, really fun product there. Comes with a uh, jumbo card, uh, among some other goodies such as packs. Uh, obviously the pins. And let's dive right in. It looks like I did not actually get that enough. That's one of these things. You know, the packaging on these things are surprisingly sturdy. Surprisingly sturdy packaging. So uh, uh four, four packs. Uh, randomly sort of they say recent releases and contains a foil card and online code card. so they are not even implying that you have any inkling of a chance to get anything older maybe worthwhile but you know we're a sucker for this kind of stuff and uh needless to say we we had to uh give it a give it a shot here we had to give it a shot just mind me for a second the audio is all funky off to my side here all right let's get into it We'll do normal uh, once. Uh, boy, I'm feeling sleep boosters already. Oh, this is going to be just four sleep boosters, ain't it? All right, so coming out first, we've got a Darkness of Blaze sleeve booster, of course. We've seen uh, maybe a thousand of these as, as of late uh, with, with the newer mystery boxes, uh, both from Walgreens and the Walmart ones. If you haven't checked out those Walmart mystery boxes, I I have admittedly had some really solid luck with those. Now. The Walmart mystery boxes, a lot of these pokey YouTubers are, are dumping on them. But that's because they're not buying them themselves. They're buying them off the internet when they're being weighed. It's just, it, it's so funny, you know, you guys gotta, you gotta remember what you're looking at content-wise sometimes. So green code card, darkness of blaze, likely nothing crazy here, but um, we got the clang reverse. Uh, you, you gotta remember, you know, all these things are uh, a dime a dozen in terms of uh, luck, you know. It's not the right way to say that per se. And here we go, a Vivid Voltage. Vivid Voltage Sleep Booster. So it looks like we're gonna be getting Sleep bo Boosters today. Um, like I was saying, uh, when I go to the store and I'm buying these, if I either buy, you know, obviously everything they have, or uh, I'm trying to find the ones that are less heavy, naturally, I'm probably gonna have better luck with them. Because you can tell when those uh, boxes are just three Sleep Boosters. You can tell almost instantly, almost instantly, when you're getting a, a three Sleep Booster. Now, of course, if you weigh them, uh, the extra cardboard uh, weighs way more than regular packs. So needless to say, those are these are all very easily weighable products. And you guys have to remember that if you're buying online. We get allowed to diverse in our first big bull is a regular hollow Dusk Noir. That's fine. That's OK. We'll take a regular hollow. But um, I know it's tough to find cards in person. But this just goes to show you that, you know, it, it, it really is blind luck. Uh, a double Vivid Voltage, okay. A chance at the Chunk of Chew, which we already do have, admittedly. Um, I think that uh, brings me up to another interesting thing. Um, you know, I've been watching some other uh, guys be opening these boxes, and people will love packs based solely on if they need a card from it. You know, I, I don't have the Darkness of Blade Charizard, so I want the Darkness of Blaze packs. Um, I have all the Vivid Voltage pulls. I don't want vivid voltage anymore. You know, it's just it's just one of those things where it, it's tough when everyone's got different views on these products. Everyone gets products different ways. You know, I could come out and say, oh, you know, I ordered these off, off two different uh, eBay sellers, so it should be a pretty decent, uh, you know, different stocks. But that's not the case. We're, we're going to weigh those. Well, not we. The people who sell them. All right, last pack. 
and it is a loving sky so all new stuff and uh okay it does come with a a random card we got a oh okay a dino from 2016 that's not bad as far as um older uh reverse hollows go we will absolutely take that and then uh hoenn powerton for septile that's a fun one that's a fun code card as you notice we do give away the code cards in every single video so make sure you come through that noti bell ding activate to get those before they go because you know what they do go pretty quick they do go pretty quick so first box they tell you it's all very recent packs and yes indeed they are very recent packs I, I at least like when they give you what's advertised, you know, they're not they're not putting base set on there They're specifically telling you these new four pack power boxes Are not going to be giving you anything out of the ordinary as we get a Zygarde hollow Nothing besides regular hollows. Yeah, but that's okay. You know, I've always said you can't depend or can't um put a Oh, you know, we actually bent our uh, in there on the last go round anywho um sometimes you can just actually pinch and pull these bad boys with a little little fortitude here but um yeah it's just uh i get it i totally get it where um guys have different experiences you know if you if you buy one of these things you're, you're not gonna have a great experience uh, per the case with most mystery boxes but you never know you know you, you really do never know you guys have seen me pull uh especially from these new walmart ones in particular you have seen me pull uh, uh, Hidden Fates a couple times, uh, some Evolutions, uh, Shining Fates. So it, it is possible. It certainly is possible to, to these mystery boxes actually hit. So considering what we know we're going to be getting, uh, let's guess Evolving Skies. Oh, no, Fusion Strike. Okay, Fusion Strike. Fusion Strike. Uh, the rest are sleeved is why I was guessing that that was a Evo again. So we got a Coughing Reverse. This is just a... Uh... Oh, actually, this might be a little bit older as well. No, 2019. 2019 indeed. And then uh, three sleeve boosters, it looks like. Darkness of Blaze, double vivid voltage. So we had these three in the first box, uh, Fusion Strike instead of Evolving Skies. So if you're if you're a big vivid voltage guy and for some reason can't seem to find it, I think you got a decent product here potentially. But the big problem with this product is the price point. We all know most booster packs sell for about four bucks a piece. So you think four times four is 16. Nope, this is a $25 product, which immediately, immediately throws up a red flag where it just, it, as is the case with a lot of these kind of, um, let's just go right through it. Uh, bulk, Dewat, Shedinja there. Uh, bulk mystery products is, uh, you know, they're getting rid of their bulk. They're getting rid of their, um, everything they got stocked up which is why we're seeing the more recent stuff. They're trying to clear out the warehouses and going, how do we do it? Well, let's talk to, to the Fairfield company <laughs> and see if they're interested. And you know what? They always are, because suckers like me keep on buying them. <laughs> but um, I do this uh, definitely for me, but I definitely do this for you guys as well. I want you to know, but uh, if you're not as fortunate to just be able to kind of buy packs not not completely willy nilly but a little more freely uh, as i can luckily um don't spend your money on this product you guys know that i'm a big fan of mystery boxes um the ones in stores not not online well and online don't get me wrong we know we know i got a bit of a problem with them uh pokey powers those things are uh, spicy those things are nice man which um we do have an ultra box coming soon which they actually changed their write-up it appears now it guarantees a graded card so that that is awesome that is very exciting so that'll probably be uh this weekend or next week potentially um we've got another pokey bro mystery pack uh that was a fun product there uh, i didn't love the 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 packs included in it but I, I do like the overall setup. You know, you give me a chance at some vintage goodness, I have to take a shot at it as someone who is a, a longtime fan, longtime collector there. For some reason, I did the code trick or the card trick, even though we were very well aware that that was not going to be a good, uh, <laughs> a good pull. All right, let's just use our little knife here to get into this. So, overall, don't buy this. For sure, for sure. Terrible, terrible idea. I would say if you happen to find the older Walgreens mystery boxes, which we did open on this channel, um, the blue ones over the green ones, for sure. And don't sleep on those Walmart ones. I'm just saying. 
Now, if, if you're in a position where you can't really... Oh, I thought that was more cardboard. I mean, it was more cardboard, but I thought that was the packaging. Well, it sort of was the packaging. The packaging for the pack. It's just so funny. Like, it, part of what annoys me with this situation is they couldn't have done this. They couldn't have just separated the cardboard and just plopped the pack on in. I, uh, man. But, um, yeah, I just, uh... <laughs> I think end of the day, if, if you are after an older card or older set, I do genuinely think you're better off going to buy that by itself. Like, let's say like a flash fire. I'm not certain now. I remember one point it was like 60 to 100, let's say. You are much going to be much happier buying your one flash fire pack than buying three of these and getting nothing but modern sets. Because, of course, you know, most people, if you want a modern set, you're going to go get a modern set, you know. Uh, there's no need to uh, get a mystery box if you're looking for Darkness Ablaze, if you're looking for Vivid Voltage. So, all of them, two Vivid Voltage, sleeved boosters. One had an extra pack of Fusion Strike. The first one had an extra pack of Evolving Sky. So we got one pack after these two uh, Vivid Voltage action right here. Get that out of the way. Good luck on the code card. Let's go right to it. We got a woo and Lucario. Seeing if we had maybe an amazing rare hidden in here. Highly unlikely. Highly, highly unlikely. I mean, if Fairfield Company wants someone to sit there and open their sleeve boosters for them, I mean, I'm down. I'm down, you know? That'd be, that'd be a, a painstakingly boring job, but you know what? Saves the, the rest of us some trouble. We got a fan fee and a Dawn Fanal evolution action there, and we are ending on, oh, what are we guessing? Let me know. What's your guess? We haven't seen a Chilling Rain yet, or a Battle Styles. Let's hope for Battle Styles, and let's pull that Tyranitar. What? Why is it... It's stuck to the... Okay. Well, there's another Hoenn Power Tin for Sceptile. Focus! There's that, and we got an Evolving Skies, so... Two had Evolving Skies, one had Fusion Strike, and each of them had uh, two Vivid Voltage, one Darkness Ablaze, and the Sleeved Booster. This is just a terrible, terrible product. I like to sugarcoat things. I like to stay positive, but I think this is an occasion where there is just no positivity to be found. You know, I'm a big believer in, you know, keeping your head up, glass half full, all that good stuff. But uh, this is just a, um, a downright bad product right there. All right, well, you guys saw it there. You saw what I saw, hopefully. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have any interest in that product or seeing it again on this channel. I'll be honest, I don't, and I don't want to do it, but if you want to put me through that pain again, I will do it for you guys. But, but 75 bucks later, we got a Dino to show for it. We got, we got a Dino. Yeah, yeah. Pack luck was not on our side here today, folks. But, you know, we're typically the, the, the king, the, the wizard of the Walgreens, the, the master of the mysteries. So keep an eye out on the channel. If you like the content, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I appreciate y'all for coming through. We'll be back soon with some more goodness. Y'all been the best. Y'all been too sweet. And I'll see you next time. Appreciate you.